we talk on the major uh, basis that is we are organisms right and this organism is made up of the organ system organism is made up of organ system organ system are made up of organs organs are made up of tissues and tissues are made up of cells right so this is the functional unit of our human body right for uh, and everything revolve around this systems right for example if we have to take the example of anything for example the circulatory system we will take the example of heart right heart will give rise to aorta then that will divide into arteries right and then the arterioles and the capillaries where your exchange will take place now this capillaries will drain into what thing this capillaries will drain into the venules right then the venules will drain into the veins veins will drain into the vena cava inferior and superior as you know from the anatomy and that will again drain into the heart right now what is the fun fact why we are discussing this over here is there is a link between these two what is the link always remember the arteries are working on the level of organs the arterioles are working on the level of tissues and the capillaries are working on the level of cells so this is the link right if you draw this chart the examiner will know that you know the concept right and you'll get the uh, definitely one or the half mark extra from the others right so what we want to discuss is cell is the unit of life unit of life now if this is so important this should be enclosed into something this should not be open right so remember the cell is enclosed into cell membrane or enclosed by cell membrane enclosed by cell membrane right it is enclosed by cell membrane so uh, let's see the diagram first of all of the cell and cell membrane but before that i wanted to show you this chart that you should be knowing few examples you can write right whenever you are discussing or writing a short note or a long note about the homeostasis and homeostatic regulation right so what are these different systems you can pause the video and you can note it down if you uh, want to but we are not going to waste our much time on the factual questions right which you have to mug up right there is no other uh, way to remember that so circulatory system we already discussed it helps in the uh, transport of the materials especially the oxygen and the nutrition right digestive system absorption and uh, uh, providing the nutrition for the food particles endocrine deals with your hormones day to day basis right so coordination in the body function through the synthesis and release of the regulatory molecules that is your hormones or neurotransmitters immune system you know that it defends against the foreign invaders intercomplementary means your appendages and all right for example the skin remember the skin is the largest organ it is the organ right skin is the organ if somebody asks uh, the question in the viva then uh, the student always say what is, which is the largest organ they always go wrong with the liver right largest organ is the skin so it is from the for the protection musculoskeletal for the support and movement nervous system we all know which is a very very important uh, system without which we cannot survive if the person is brain dead it is known as death right then the reproductive system for the generation of a new uh, species right or new generation for the further generation respiratory system oxygen and exchange of the gases which is important for that urinary system to excrete the waste right so this is about the organ system which uh, one we discussed already that is your uh, 
heart right circulatory system now this is a diagram over the cell membrane this is cell membrane now we all know that it is kind of sea of lipid if we have to discuss in a line that it is a sea of lipid it is written in your gana also that it is a sea of lipid uh, with mosaic now what do you mean by mosaic mosaic is literally mean is the random insertion random insertion now random insertion of what random insertion of the proteins of the protein and it is like a mosaic so this model is known as especially in the north universities they ask why it is known as so so you should be knowing why it is known as so so it is known as yes the mosaic model the mosaic model double layer mosaic model of cell membrane right so this is the most common model and most famous model uh, first of all the scientists thought that it is the lipid uh, layer on which on top of that the protein uh, layer is present but that was wrong right mm, and the singers and nicholson uh, discovered this model which is known as the mosaic model fluid mosaic model right so uh, in that why it is so what is the benefit of having this mosaic model in the lipids because both are important for us but the lipid is more important because it provide the flexibility and fluidity flexibility and fluidity to the uh, membrane right so this is the uh, diagram you can see you have to draw, draw the diagrams right so there are two ends this is the head and this is the tail right so the head end is always remember it is hydrophilic it is hydrophilic and your tail is hydrophobic you all know what do you mean by hydrophilic which is water loving which can uh, attract the water right hydrophobic means yes which repel the water right so tail is always hydrophobic tail is hydrophobic so if we have to